In this problem, we are being given the equation for a line, and we're being asked to graph it. Following these steps is a good way to approach a problem like this. So first, we're going to make a table of x and y values. Then we're going to get points from that table and plot them on the graph, and then we're going to draw the line. So let's make a table here with x on the left and y on the right, and let's just choose some values to put in. The first value I'm going to put in for x is 0. That's a, a, a nice number because in this equation, if I want to figure out what, what y is when x equals 0, I just put in a 0 here for x. It's like the x goes away. So I get y equals 3. And then let's go ahead and do a few more. You know, you really only need two points to make a line. But if you do more than two, you kind of check your work. So in case you make a mistake on one, uh, you'll notice it uh, when the line doesn't match up with the others. So let's um, plug in 1 here. So y equals 1 plus 3. Well, that's 4. And if I put in a 2 here, 2 plus 3 would be 5. If I put in a 3, 3 plus 3 would be 6. And I think 4 points is plenty. So let's see if we can plot these. Here's our x-axis. And we want 0 on the x, so that'd be right there, and 3 on the y, 1, 2, 3. So that's the point 0, 3. Let's do 1, 4, so 1 here and 4 on the y. And then 2, 5, so 1, 2, and then all the way up to 5. And then 3, 6, so 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see that all those points are lining up in a straight line. So once you've, you've, you're sure you've got your points plotted correctly, you can just draw the line through those points. And this line is just going to extend on for the whole, the whole length of the graph. And really, this is only a chunk of the plane, right? The plane is infinite. So we would put these arrows on either end to show that the line continues on in both directions. So that is how to graph a line.